Let's see. We're going live. We're going. We're live on the air. What's going on, you guys? Welcome to the show. It's another day ready to go. It's Tuesday, June the 26th. And uh, I'm doing two shows today. Uh, I've got the 5 o'clock show right now. It's happening, baby. And then primetime uh, live trivia at 8 o'clock tonight. I'm ready with trivia. I'm ready. Are you guys ready? I got some stumpers for you guys. I got, oh, man. <laughs> We're going to have some fun tonight with trivia. How are you guys doing? Welcome to the show. I'm Bruce, your host. Traveling with Bruce is the name of the channel, and we, generally speaking, we like to talk about cruise ships. <laughs> I really want to just talk about cruise ship vacations and cruise ships and, and all the good stuff in cruising, but occasionally things come into the show from the outside because it's a big world out there, and a lot of things affect cruising uh, and cruise holidays, and uh, once in a while, we kind of talk about some of the things all around us that affect the world of travel and uh, could affect us or others and uh, some of my fans like it and some of them don't and oh I hear about it <laughs> sorry but it's just the way it is um, yesterday I was talking about the stock market and how the shares of the cruise lines went <laughs> because investors uh, have been hearing the rumors now for weeks that uh, there are issues with potential earnings problems with some of the cruise lines that there are headwinds and they, they if they get worse It'll affect the future earnings. And sure enough, Carnival comes out and says, we have to revise our fourth quarter estimates. Just just a little smidgen less. Just just a little. Just a little. Well, that created the stock. That cratered the stock by 10% in an hour. And the Carnival lost a oh, billion and a half dollars of market value in 60 minutes. Just like that. That's What's that? Two cruise ships? Well, what's that? Just a couple of cruise ships. No big deal, huh? Unbelievable. But today... Uh, here we are, uh, Tuesday, June 26th. The latest news now is um, the United States is uh, calling for uh, a ban on all oil exports out of Iran, that uh, Iran should be uh, denied the opportunity to sell oil to anybody uh, because they're bad, bad, bad. And uh, oil is 70 plus dollars a barrel. Um, just popped up 250 during the day today. For those of you paying attention out there, uh, the stock analysts were saying that one of the reasons they think that the cruise lines may not make the numbers, the profit numbers that they have been predicting is the cost of fuel. And if oil stays over 70 bucks a barrel, it goes higher. Every buck a barrel adds to the cost and cruise ships use a lot of fuel. And so I don't know. I'm just. I, I'm not making up the story. I'm just reporting it and uh, hate me if you want, but that is the reality of the situation. But there's, you know, there's the yin and the yang of it because if the cruise lines have trouble attracting cruisers or they run into a bunch of cancellations or they have to theoretically raise prices, which, you know, they've been doing anyway with the boom lately. Uh, or if airlines start increasing ticket prices because of higher jet fuel costs, it means that passengers trying to get to cruise ships may have a tougher time of it. Um, and I, I, I used an example yesterday just here out of Canada. I mean, we're just your neighbors. Uh, a Canadian family of four wants to go to a Disney cruise. Um, if it's uh, $50 a ticket more for the airfare, four people, that's 200 bucks. If it's uh, $50 a family more per, per member more on the cruise, higher cost, that's another 200 bucks. Now it's $400. Uh, remember a couple of years ago, we had those fuel surcharges. You remember those? Some never went away. These got buried into the price. Uh, they might start bringing some of those firms out there might start bringing that around again. And, uh, who knows, uh, what the costs will be. Anyway, family of four with a two or four or five or $600 increase in the cost of a vacation might decide to take another kind of a vacation. So it may not be a cruise on Disney this year. It might be a delayed a year. Or uh, maybe we'll just fly to uh, L.A. only and do Disneyland or do Universal. Or instead of doing a, a three-day visit to Disneyland, we'll just do a two-day visit to, visit to Disneyland and then see the walk, the Hollywood Walk of Fame and you know, other things in L.A. other than the uh, Disney. Who knows? Uh, cutbacks will happen immediately because we're talking about discretionary income. So we'll see. Anyway, that's enough of that i'm just trying to stay on top of things to see how it's going welcome to the show um for all those of you who are new 
Um, you probably notice a whole bunch of messages are coming in right now on my on my screen here. Folks are saying hi to me, telling me where they are, what's their temperature today. I welcome you to do the same. Let us know how you are. And if you're a new cruiser, uh, let us know if this is your first time to my channel or if you're thinking of going on a cruise for the first time, what's the name of the ship you're thinking of going on or, or where have you booked a cruise? Where are you going? We will be happy to uh, welcome you to the chat and we'll uh, compare notes. Those of you who are addicted to cruising like me and most of us, uh, this is a place where we get to talk about cruise ship vacations and what's going on out there and uh, stay on top of things. I want to say thank you as always to uh, my regular viewers who sh join me almost every day, uh, those who catch me maybe once or twice a week. And those who uh, occasionally come in maybe once a month or so and pop in to see how Bruce is doing. I appreciate your visits every time. Appreciate your comments, of course, on my videos. Uh, I appreciate uh, very much uh, the support that I get for this channel. This is my full-time job. Uh, the good news for those of you who don't know, uh, very few of you now don't know, but some still are finding out for the first time, I have been re-monetized by YouTube as of last week, Wednesday, around 10 in the evening. Uh, by Thursday morning, I got the emails from YouTube saying, congratulations, you're monetized again. And so since Thursday, I've been, quote, uh, earning uh, advertising income from YouTube. Uh, it amounts to about six bucks a day right now. Six, six fifty a day is what I'm getting from YouTube, uh, generally speaking. So that's about $200 a month, something like that. So, you know, the first $200 of my expenses, <laughs> 50 bucks a week. Thank you, YouTube. Uh, I wish you'd have done it sooner because it took you 120 days to come around. But hey, welcome back. I've been here the whole time working. Um, but the majority of my income comes from uh, you folks out there. Uh, whatever income I make, it's coming from my viewers directly. Folks are purchasing Traveling with Bruce merchandise on the Redbubble store that I have. There's some mugs here and here available. I've got uh, just all kinds of gift ideas that you can get your hands on if you want just go to the red bubble store there's a there's a bubble icon up here a little icon up here on my home page for red bubble and there should be a link below in my description as well and then the uh, another form of income that's started to come into the channel is from the amazon my affiliate link on amazon which is also just below here people are clicking on that and going to amazon and picking something up and a small commission comes to the channel every time something is purchased on amazon thank you very much for all of you folks who are doing that I really appreciate it. And then, of course, I have had uh, two other forms of income. Uh, one has been Patreon, which is a, 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 play, a, a, a site you can go to to make a monthly contribution to a creator like myself. Uh, I ask for $3 or more per month, 10 cents a day or more is what I ask for on Patreon. Some folks send me $3, some send me 5 some send me 10 It's totally up to you, whatever you want to do there, if you want to do that. Otherwise... The most popular uh, area of funding that I've had is from folks who are saying to me, Bruce, I just want to send you money directly as a donation on PayPal. I know you have a logo, uh, a link up here on the, on your homepage for PayPal. I'll just send you a donation there because 94% of the funds ends up actually in my hands uh, and it's instantaneous and boy, do I appreciate it. And uh, you can do that anytime you want, 24 seven, it doesn't matter. Uh, you do not have to do it while I'm on the air, uh, although occasionally it does happen. I'll get a donation and I'll see a little flash, uh, a little flash alert on my phone or on my bottom of my computer screen if I'm not uh, looking away at, away from it at the time, telling me uh, some so and so sent you some money. Uh, thank you for that. But a lot of you folks do this in the after hours, uh, and I, <laughs> I'm just so happy when I get an email alert going. You just got some money. Well, thank you very much. So thank you for all your support and everything else. That's the end of the commercials. Um, 2,295 subscribers. We're almost at 2,300. I lost a couple subscribers yesterday because of my financial rant that I went on. It's the price you have to pay. Uh, sometimes uh, people are tolerant up to a point, and then they go, enough. He's not making me laugh every day, and if he's not going to be a, com a comic, I'm not going to watch him all the time. I'm not a comic. I... I'm a happy-go-lucky kind of guy, but um, I'm, also a I'm also a realist. And uh, like I say, I'm a lover more than a fighter. Uh, I like to talk about cruise ships and cruise ship vacations, but sometimes you have to tell the big picture of what's really going on about cruise lines and, um, and the economy as a whole so that we understand, well, if this is happening here, this could be happening there. And uh, this could affect us dramatically and, 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 and uh, directly with regard to um, future fares or, or uh, 
uh, cruise availability, uh, ships might be moved, uh, who knows? So that's just life and sometimes life ain't pretty. So what are you gonna do? Uh, I'm gonna say hi to my viewers who are typing in uh, message, messages, greetings to me. These these comments just, just are coming and coming and coming. So I'll try to go through these as quick as I can, saying hi to everybody. Peter Heckema is almost always here first. Peter, as always, welcome to my channel. Uh, he's saying hi, Bruce and everyone. A beautiful day in Tarpon Springs, Florida today. Lots of sun, low humidity, temperature of 92 degrees. This is perfect. I mean, that's just ideal. Uh, pool water is 90 today, just great weather. Here in Creston, where I am, Sunny, gorgeous day today. Um, we're just approaching the mid-70s. We'll probably hit the uh, mid-80s by the time the uh, the day rolls on, and uh, we're going to be just fine. Clifford Thomas, you've done it again. I uh, just saw the news flash, a little email flash. Clifford Thomas just sent me a donation on PayPal. Thank you, Clifford, uh, for your support of this guy. Uh, uh, you have uh, sent me, uh, I know, at least once a week you send me something. I just love it. Uh, thank you very much. I really appreciate it. It comes in handy, believe me. This is my full-time job, folks. I don't do anything else for a living. Jen, the, the Jennifer Aniston lookalike wife that I have that you've never seen, she's the one with the day job, and uh, and I've got this uh, to try to, I'm trying to grow this so that I can take heat off of Jen and uh, keep things rolling and uh, the channel's growing and uh, your support is uh, is undying and I really appreciate it. Thank you again, Clifford Thomas. Uh, Richard C., uh, great Argentina win today. Wow, <laughs> hello all. Watching the World Cup, Richard C., welcome back, buddy. And Jordan, uh, hey, Bruce and all. It's coolish, 19 Celsius in Brisbane today. That's Australia. 19 Celsius is a quite a bit cooler than the summertime. It's now fall in, going into winter there, more into winter than fall. And so the temperatures are dipping in Brisbane. And that's why Ann Jordan keeps showing those little snowflake sim symbols on her greeting messages. Welcome back, Ann. It's nice to have you here. Uh, Richard C. Sip and Sail uh, with Princess started today. Uh, through July. They've got an offer until July. You can take advantage of cruises with a premium drink package thrown in for nothing. Zip. That's another sign of weakness in the cruise market on the, on the edges. There's, uh, there's signs showing up that uh, not it's not all peaches and cream in the cruise business. If it were, prices would be unbelievably expensive. Everyone would be sold out and they wouldn't have to give away anything. Drink packages are being given away by MSC, now by, uh, lately by uh, Norwegian with other perks. Now, Princess, we'll see how this goes as the summer wears on. Uh, the Caribbean season this fall and winter, apparently the travel agents are saying uh, bookings are a little light. They're not, uh, they're not you know, dying to get in. Uh, they're, they're buying, but they're not like desperately buying these packages. Interesting. Um, and of course, this summer I noticed, and I've been saying it to you on the folks uh, on the on the show, uh, Alaska cruises, um, especially out of Vancouver. Man, can you get deals if you take an inside room uh, for uh, Alaska cruises out of Vancouver? Oh man, under four hundred bucks a week, all in. I mean, this is a deal. Uh, anyway, there, there's another sign: sip and sail with Princess. The sail is on. Free drink package. That's a premium drink package. That's the expensive one. Richard, uh, Richard C., hello, Ann. How are you? Ann is saying uh, great. And uh, um, <laughs> Australia lost over Peru. Oh, no. Richard C., Ann, I saw that. Wow, I guess Australia is better than rugby, but I thought they would beat Peru. It has been a crazy match with Argentina was being eliminated, and our U.S. team didn't even qualify. Uh, Richard C., Mexico uh, has been great, though. Um, let's see here. Ann Jordan, just seeing the results of my on my phone, Richard C., I, Tough matches. Uh, let's see. Wendy Thompson. Hi, Ann. Richard, Peter, Bruce. Hi, everybody there today. Uh, Richard C., with all the money the U.S. spends on the U.S. soccer team, we didn't even qualify. Panama and Mexico beat us. Good for Panama. The first time they've been in the World Cup. Wendy Thompson. Ann, about 20 days before we leave here for Florida, 24 hours of driving with three dogs, the truck, camper, and a trailer, and our car. Oh, so much fun to think of. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure you're, you can't wait till it's over and done. I'm sure, Wendy, uh, but better days ahead. Heading to Florida uh, and Jordan. Oh, gosh, Wendy, hope it all goes well. So much traveling to Florida. Drive safely. Um, let's see here. Uh, Wendy Thompson, uh, yes, but we love to cruise, hate winter, and catch the plane. So to catch the boat, uh, they don't have to worry about catching the plane anymore once they live in Florida. They're moving into the Ocala area. 
Uh, Wendy said, uh, Richard, we did. Closing on the 24th of June, we have the keys in the title. Uh, we have purchased our place. Uh, they are moving down there. Um, yeah, everyone's comparing notes here. Just going to go through some uh, some uh, small talk. Wes, Wes Morrison's here. Hey, buddy. Bruce. Uh, hello, Bruce94 here in New Braunfels. Wes, welcome back. Good to see you, buddy. Welcome to the show. Wendy, our second big move. We moved from Michigan to Missouri in 83 and now Missouri to Florida, heading further south. Richard C. Ann, how is the weather in Sydney late March and early April? Uh, shorts okay or long pants? <laughs> Peter Eckerman. Wendy, are you moving to the Ocala area? Alicia, Alicia is here. Uh, Alicia Mestas Garcia, how are you? Hey, I made it to another live chat. Hello from California. Hello, Alicia. Welcome back to uh, to the show today. Nice to have you here. Um, Fort McCoy, she says, Wendy Thompson saying, I'm going to move into Fort McCoy about 15 minutes east of Ocala, Florida. Tracy Dunlop, hi, Bruce, and all sunny and hot in Naples today. No rain so far, but I'm sure we will get our nightly shower soon. Yeah, you probably will. Peter Heckema, nice area. You'll be enjoying, you will in being happy uh, out of the snow and that cold weather for sure. Um, uh, she says it's on the edge of the Ocala National forest wow that's cool there's a neighborhood bear too apparently and jordan uh, richard i would probably bring both just in case there's an app i use called weather zone and that'll tell you our weather hope that helps uh, <laughs> uh let's see peter heckema saying we've been in florida for about five years we really love it uh debbie Manuel. hi bruce and everyone sunny and forecast of 95 today chico hi debbie uh how many days three four today's tuesday tuesday so wednesday thursday friday four days five days and you're on a cruise uh, Debbie's going on the bliss this weekend and Jordan. Hi, Tracy. Hey, Debbie. Uh, everyone is saying hello, Wendy. Uh, we can't wait. Uh, as soon as we send in the passports for the new address, we are cruising. Uh, Alicia is saying hello and thank you for the welcome. Peter, uh, Wendy, living in Florida means you can drive to the cruise ports. No more flights. Exactly. Scott Weber. Hi, Bruce. Sunny and 72 in Palos Verdes. Nice, Scott. That's awesome weather. Richard C. looked at my airlines, um, looked in my, locked in my airlines from East Coast to Sydney in March already to make sure prices do not increase. Right on, uh, yep, because the, the airfare might go up because of the fuel costs, we'll have to see. Uh, let's see here, um, <laughs> Steaming Bean is here. Sydney, Nova Scotia, no, we don't think so, Steamer. How you doing, buddy? And Jordan, keep an eye on those prices, Richard. Uh, Sky Scanner app. Uh, big rain here in Sandy Bay, Saskatchewan. I'm loving it, the Steamer is saying in Saskatchewan. Uh, everyone's saying hi to him. MG Tow, Cruise Lines and Air Companies. Buy full five to seven years out, they buy low. Uh, they generally do, uh, unless they make a mistake and buy high. But yes, they try to lock in those futures as much as they can. Sea Keeper, hi, Bruce and all. It is raining here, muggy, and more comfortable inside. Thumbs up. Good time to work on my latest computer project. I tried to join your channel's Facebook page today. I have accepted you as a member. You should be good to go, buddy. Steamy Bean, I like to visit Bruce's channel once or twice a month. Uh, yeah, yeah, a little more than once or twice a month. I think you posted something again today. Love it. We're having fun here. Um, <laughs> he's laughing out loud. Scott Weber, uh, I will be on the Zandam in 34 days. The Noro outbreak on it worries me. Uh, Scott, I wouldn't worry about it. Uh, by the time you get on it, they'll have treated that ship with so many chemicals, there's there's be nothing left. <laughs> but, you know, norovirus is everywhere. It's in our homes. It's in our schools. Uh, it's in our grocery stores. Uh, I don't care where you go. The norovirus is everywhere, and you can get it anywhere, anytime. It's not exclusive to cruise ships. It's just that when you have a captive market like that, a captive crowd, it can spread a little quicker and uh, people touching the same handrails all the time or, or what door handles or whatever it gets them. And uh, media just loves jumping all over the norovirus story each and every time. I think the latest number was 72 or 74 cases on this Alaskan cruise. The, way that the media made it sound like a, like a national outbreak. Uh, I can tell you that uh, I'm in a town of 5,000 people here. I bet you there are 200 people with norovirus right now. I'm sure. Uh, it's a common thing. It's a common virus. Kids get it. Adults get it. Everyone spreads it. And uh, it's just part of our existence. And uh, you can only take the precautions that you should and you can when you go on a cruise. Take your own hand wipes with you for your own cabin. And when you're on a cruise ship, put your hand underneath the little dispenser where they're dispensing that Purell and wipe those hands and wash them after every time you use the bathroom. Absolutely. Um, <laughs> let's see here. Uh, Richard C. Steaming, uh, flying to Sydney, Australia to visit Anne. There you go. 
Um, let's see. Let that bucks a day pay for a cruise. Uh, Ann Jordan, I'm in Brisbane. Richard, not Sydney. Uh, she's north of you, I believe. Um, Steve Bean, I know Richard's just toying with you. For Seakeeper, no, no worries there. The Zandam will have been sanitized by the time you get there. Delightful ship. Randy Lucas, greetings, Bruce, and all from Paradise. Where the highs 87. Randy, are you feeling better today? I know you're under the weather yesterday. I hope you're coming around. I uh, hope Michelle, uh, Nurse Michelle, has taken good care of you there. And Jordan, hey, the steaming bean, any more of those great videos on the Facebook page? He loaded another one today. Get over there. Uh, Richard C. Uh, and the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, see, air, say, air, snow is so long, can't make it to, Br the, oh, the, the flight. The flight is so long, can't make it to Brisbane. Uh, he's coming all the way from obviously North America. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Stevie Bean says he calls himself traveling with Bruce, but is hesitant in traveling with me. False advertising, laugh out loud. That's right. Oh, I, I Stever, yeah, I know how big you are. <laughs> I'm afraid. I'm very afraid. I, I don't. I, I, I admit it. Freely admit. It. With Desi uh, Wagner's here. Good afternoon, all eighty and stormy today, in Chicago. I'm sorry to hear that, Desi. Um, you know, but Chicago does get those systems that are coming through. I hope it passes quickly and you get that nice sunny weather by the weekend. Welcome back to the show. Uh, hi to all my friends in Chicago and uh, love that town. And Jordan, uh, 24th uh, flight, uh, 24th flight time, Richard C is a long time, or 24 hours, sorry, 24 hours flight time is a long time, absolutely. Uh, uh, MG Joe is saying a carnival stock was up a dollar today. Yeah, we call that a, a dead cat bounce uh, in the stock market terms. It's a uh, the kind of a crude uh, expression, but a stock drops six, five or six or seven bucks. The next day it can come back a buck, but it didn't come back all five or six or seven dollars, did it? It didn't. And uh, this afternoon that uh, that little announcement came out from the United States saying they, they think that uh, Iran should be cut off from exporting any oil. <clears throat> tensions are rising. Uh, if fuel prices keep going up with these kinds of tensions, Watch that stock go down. Uh, Carnival stock is overpriced right now. My guess, eight bucks a share. Um, it should be around fifty, not fifty-eight. We'll see what happens. Um, I don't know. I just don't know. Richard C. Yes, and stop over for seven days in Hawaii. Got to look at the lava. Uh, and uh, let's see here. Uh, <laughs> Steamer is promoting his channel on my on my show. He's saying to uh, he's saying to uh, to Ann and everyone else. Uh, check out my channel when you're off of Bruce's show. Come check me out. Uh, he says, uh, Steamer says, I joined Bruce's chat yesterday, learned lots. Uh, thank you, Steamer. And Jordan, uh, yep, Richard C. sounds amazing. Hawaii bucket list trip. You'll have an amazing time with the family. Wendy Thompson, I learned some things yesterday. Uh, yes, uh, I, well, I'm glad you did. I'm, I'm very happy. Steaming Bean, Hawaiian cruise will be awesome. Tracy Dunlap, I thought I was. Uh, I thought it was a great show yesterday, Bruce. You were always a wealth of knowledge. Thank you, Tracy, very much. Uh, some folks uh, rather enjoyed it. Others were really put off by it. And uh, can't make everybody happy. It's just, yeah, I just do the best I can. Well, I got cool jazz. Hello, Bruce, 74 in sunny New York City. Uh, Seakeeper Bruce about losing subs because of financial rants. Just sing Tina Turner's Private Dancer and move on. That tune kept me going for a long time. Thanks, Tina. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Steamy Bean laughing out loud at Seakeeper and Jordan. I. Uh, Hey, Cool Jazz, how are you? Cool Jazz, Bruce, did you see my post about Carnival charging for pizza? Um, yes, uh, you posted that on the uh, on the Facebook page. Uh, by the way, those of you who don't know, there is a Facebook group page called Traveling with Bruce. And it's for you, all of you to come on in anytime. It's kind of like the 24-7 uh, Addicted to Cruising Center. Um, come on in and ask to join the page. I'll let you in there, no problem. And you can post anything you want uh, with within good reason, of course, in good taste. Um, what I'm really happy about is when when you folks are posting photos and videos of your trips that you've been on, some of your favorite cruise ships you've been on. Uh, love that. Love getting photos on there from old ocean liners. Uh, if any of you have had parents that were on uh, ocean liners crossing the ocean in the old days, <clears throat> if you've got an old photo lying around that you can post on there, that would be great too. Anything to do with cruising and, and what's going on. We're having a lot of fun on that channel. And like I said, Traveling with Bruce on Facebook. Come on over and join the page. I, I think it's, it's a lot of fun. We're having a good time. Um, Steamy Bean, always be booked uh, pod, uh, Always be booked podcast claims that Carnival makes the best pizza. Interesting. I got to say, the best pizza I've had on board a cruise ship was Princess. Um, twice, uh, well, one, one, one year we went on the Mexican Riviera out of, uh, out of Los Angeles and they had just installed a pizzeria 
um, uh, just off their atrium, their their big atrium. I think the uh, the uh, the uh, coffee and bistro was on one side of the atrium, and over on the other side was this uh, pizzeria. And they had installed this uh, it, from the front. It looked like a stainless steel uh, container. Uh, was about two feet high and about five or six feet wide. It's a classic pizza oven, and the door, you know, it comes down and it's deep. It's like five, six feet deep, and the pizza maker has that long wooden stick with the the wide paddle at the end, and they were baking pizzas fresh right there, um, and you know, throwing the throwing up the dough and everything else, and uh, pizzas to order, no charge, no extra charge. Just come on in, sit down, take your order, and they would make the pizza and bring it to you. And it was a thin crust Hawaiian N Napoli, like a Naples, a Naples style thin crust pizza, delicious. Uh, seven nights, my wife and I were on that cruise. Three nights, we ate dinner there. That's how good it was. The ingredients were fantastic. We loved it. It was just absolutely wonderful. And uh, uh, I don't know if they still do it. I don't, I don't know if all the uh, the cruise lines, all the princess uh, ships have it or not, but uh, we really enjoyed it. Uh, it was wonderful. That's the best pizza I've personally had on board uh, a cruise ship. Uh, let's see here. Uh, uh, cool jazz. And did you get my greeting from Lance Black? Uh, oh. Private message. I and Scott Brody. Hi, Bruce and all. 25 degrees Celsius, but under thunderstorm warnings tonight here in St. Thomas, Ontario. Scott, welcome back to the show. Uh, MG Toe, Bruce, with those cheap Alaska cruises, you need to add in taxes and especially port charges and gratuities, which can be more than double the price of the cruise. Yeah, I know. I, I know that. I'm not arguing that, MJ. MG, but the reality is that the cruise isn't 600 bucks plus, plus, plus. It's 300 bucks plus, plus. It's 300 bucks off and the cruise line only gets the 300 350 dollars they don't get the port charges to put in their pocket the tipping and stuff goes to their staff so this this fare the whole thing about the fare is so low where in the meantime if you go over onto the bliss in seattle you want to get on that cruise ship it's practically sold out you, you can't get a balcony for under a thousand a week uh, plus the port charge plus the tipping each so you're dropping big coin to to take the balcony cruise on the bliss which of course makes sense, it's a brand new ship. But if you take a princess cruise out of Vancouver, you are saving hundreds. So you, between two people, could save upwards of uh, seven, 800 bucks, just grab an inside room. You might save $1,000 between two of you still. But I, I'm with you, MJ, MJ. I know about the taxes and fees. Don't argue with that at all, totally with you. Um, uh, let's see here, uh, Bob. Oh, hey, Bruce, somewhere around 95 here today. Bob, oh, welcome back, Atlanta, isn't it? Uh, am I right or is it? Um, Alabama go tide. I'm not sure. Bob, oh, welcome back. I haven't seen you in a while. Steamy Bean, 18 days, folks, and I will be on the escape. Yippee. Fantastic steamer. Tom Henry, hi, everyone. 77 in uh, Richmond. Hey, Tom Henry, how you doing? Uh, I just got a text 10 minutes ago. My wife checked our mailbox. Nothing yet. The mail is slow up here these days, I'm sorry to say. So we're still watching. I'll let you know when I know. Steamer, uh, hi, Tom Henry. And Jordan. Yes, cool jazz. I did get your greeting from Lance Black. Sorry, I was asleep at the time. <laughs> Janet Moyer, hi from Tennessee. Janet, how are you? Welcome from Tennessee to the show. If you're first, if this is the first time you're here, welcome, uh, welcome to the channel. If you've been here before, welcome back, and forgive me for forgetting because uh, you know I'm. Can I say I, I got white hair? What le what's left of it? Welcome to my channel, Janet. Uh, everyone's going to say hi to you, uh, Jen. I'm new to the channel. You're new. Oh, this is great. I love it. Um, Wendy's Wendy's saying hi. Richard's saying hi. Everyone's going to say hi to you. Um, Steamer is saying, I like my pizza with very thin crust. None of that deep dish nonsense. There you go. Uh, let's see here. Uh, Richard C. Uh, steaming, not a Chicago pizza fan. I, I guess he isn't. Janet, uh, hi and all. Thank you all. She's saying, Janet's uh, getting a great welcome from everybody here. Sylvia, hello everyone. 74 and cloudy Greensboro, North uh, Carolina. Uh, Debbie Manuel is singing that Smokey Robinson song, Sailing Away, Away From Here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. Debbie's getting excited. It's getting close. Uh, Jim Thomas, Debbie Manuel, tomorrow morning. Happy travels. Uh, well, hey, welcome back, Jim. Jim Thomas, Bob O. Alabama, Bruce. Uh, uh, Crimson Tide. Go Tide. Uh, Bob O, it's been a while. I see. I told you it's been a while. Welcome back, pal. Uh, Debbie, uh, Clifford, not traveling tomorrow. Leave for Seattle Thursday. Okay, day, uh, day after two, two days. Okay, it's coming. It's coming, Debbie. It's coming. You're going on the bliss. You're going on the bliss. Jim Thomas, yes, but off work. 
Uh, Kathleen Krieger. Hi, Janet. I'm in Tennessee, too. I have two Tennesseans here today. This is fantastic. Welcome back, Kathleen. Um, no first uh, no first time for Janet, she's saying. Uh, let's see. Steamy Bean is also singing that Smokey Robinson song, too. Yes, that's right. It gets coming up for him, for sure. Uh, Mary Ellen, uh, 88 and sunny in South Carolina. Don't want to know the heat index. We don't want to know. Don't tell us. No. <laughs> it's got to be awful. Welcome back, Mary Ellen. Uh, and Jordan, uh, Desi, how good are the deep dish uh, pizzas in Chicago? I, I bet they're delicious. Um, they are, but they're deep dish. Uh, Michelle, Lucas, Debbie, uh, sing it north to Alaska. Take a warm hat and bring those earmuffs, uh, <laughs> especially if you want to stand on the deck of that ship. It's going to be windy. Janet Moyer, I'm just outside of Knoxville. Fantastic. Welcome, Janet, from just outside of Knoxville. Cool Jazz. And I figured you were sleeping. Just wanted you to know that Cool Jazz and Lance are the same person. And Jordan, welcome, Kathleen. Uh, Peter Heckema, mail to Canada is very slow. A mailed Xmas cards, Christmas card to friends in Winnipeg in December. They got them in April. Uh, they didn't know we were late or very early. <laughs> yeah. You don't put a date on it. You could say, oh, you just got it. Well, that's for next year. And yeah, way ahead of you. Yeah, I was like, Oh, man. Debbie's going, thanks, Michelle. Already have them back. She is ready to go. Can't wait to get on that ship. This is awesome stuff. And uh, Debbie's going to have a great time on the Bliss. And we are going to hear all about it. I can't wait for Debbie to give me reports. And Jordan, yes, thanks. Uh, thanks, Cool Jazz. I will add you to Messenger. Richard C. N. and Deep Dish Chicago Style. Very, very filling. Yeah, I can imagine uh, <laughs> one good slice will do you. Uh, and you're good to go. Today's topic on this show, to get to that part of the show, I was, I was just mentioning today about the luxury cruise line business. I uh, saw a headline today that uh, within 10 years, there will be 73 dedicated ships that are going to be basically six star and up uh, type quality or, or five and a half star. Like we're talking the really good stuff. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, the number, The number one cruise line in the high-end market for volume is Viking Ocean Cruises. Um, Viking Ocean Cruises right now has five ships at sea, a sixth being delivered very shortly with about, uh, how many coming more beyond that? 18 will be in operation in 10 years by Viking. Each ship, <coughs> excuse me, each ship holds 930 passengers and, um, uh, they are, um, uh, right now they have 4,650 cheers, everybody traveling with Bruce Monk for you guys. Well, hello to all. Um, right now they have five ships for 4,650 beds, uh, approximately. And, uh, they're going to go to 18 ships within the next 10 years. That's more than triple. So they're going to be pushing 17, 18,000, uh, births, um, uh, at sea, unbelievable amounts of, of volume. They own right now 26% of the market. Um, they are leading uh, ahead of established cruise lines who've been around for years and years and years, like Silver Sea, which has just been acquired by Royal Caribbean, Regent, which is owned by uh, uh, Norwegian, Norwegian Cruise Lines, uh, Seabourn, which is owned by Carnival, and um, also they're, they're way ahead of Crystal Cruises and Ponant. Now, Ponant, P-O-N-A-N-T, is the spelling of that cruise line. From France, uh, they are also building out quickly uh, quite a number of, uh, of uh, ships, but the Ponant ships hold about 200 or so passengers as opposed to 900 and uh, some odd for um, Viking Ocean Line. Now, the biking company, uh, they were known up until five years ago, they were known only as a river cruise company. They had, uh, they had their uh, ships on the rivers in Europe and then in China, and they were offering these, uh, you know, seven-day, 10-day, 14-day river cruises, top dollar, uh, 300, 400, 500 a night uh, to be on these, uh, these boats per person. Uh, but uh, the reviews are just unbelievable because it's all inclusive on the uh, on the river cruises uh, with alcohol at lunch and dinner, with uh, shore excursions daily. Uh, a number of the of their boats come with bicycles, so you can bike for half a day or an hour or two, and then catch up to the ship, you know, down the river a couple hours and get back on it. I mean, it's just unbelievable. Um, so when they announced they were going into the ocean cruising business, there was a little bit of skepticism, but those in the know, those passengers who knew how a uh, Viking operates their business, they were saying to themselves, man, if these guys can run an ocean cruise, 
the way they run a river cruise, I'm in. And uh, I'll tell you, you do not see massive discounts for Viking Ocean Cruises uh, on VacationsToGo.com. You don't see 80% off fares. Uh, 200, 250, 300 a night uh, and higher uh, for the uh, ocean, uh, uh, Viking Ocean cruise ships uh, is the going rate. Uh, very high occupancy numbers and very high satisfaction grades from passengers. Uh, people are repeat already being repeat customers on the Viking cruises, Viking Ocean cruises. Jim Zim did a beautiful report on uh, on one of the Viking cruise ships. He was thoroughly uh, he thoroughly enjoyed uh, enjoyed it just to the max. Absolutely loved being on the Viking ship. Here are five things that the Viking cruise ships have. The Viking Ocean cruise ships have. Or what they don't have, I guess, is the way to really say this. Here are five things Viking Ocean Cruises don't have. Number one, no kids, no children, 18 and over to get on board the ship. That's the number one thing about Viking. This is an adult-only line. The kids' lines, there are a gazillion places to take the kids, but not on Viking Cruises. It's for 18 and over. There are no casinos on board Viking uh, Ocean Liners. No casinos. They use that space for uh, open atrium areas, and uh, uh, they do not have gambling on board. They do not; ex they're not interested in having a loud, smoke-filled environment type uh, cruise. It's just not their style. Uh, crowds, no crowds. Uh, there are only 930 passengers maximum on a fully sold-out ship. Fully sold out. Uh, if you uh, if you're on a Viking uh, cruise ship and it pulls into port. Uh, they have these, uh, like I say, these uh, these uh, excursions that are part of the cruise. There's always there's always one excursion that's included in your fare, or you can take a, a additional excursions that will cost you more. You can choose any one you want. Well, out of the 930 people, uh, when you pull into port, 600 might get off the ship, maybe more. You stay on board the ship. There's nobody left. <laughs> it's yours. There's 200 people. On an entire cruise ship, uh, the passengers plus your crew, uh, I tell you right now, you will be in the pool by yourself. You'll be in a jacuzzi alone. Uh, it's, if you love solitude, you're going to love this. Um, crowds. Uh-uh, no crowds. Um, uh, what was the other one I was, was going to talk about? Annoying fees. The annoying fees that we talk about all the time on our favorite cruise lines that we generally go on. Uh, or let's just say the fees of the you know the trade. This is the way the business is going. Um, we know our friends at Carnival are nickel and diming us to death, but that's their style. You know it going in, so no surprise. Um, there are fees on Carnival ships. There are fees on Princess Hall in America, Royal Caribbean, Celebrity, you name it. Anyway, uh, on a on a uh, Viking Ocean cruise, you will not uh, have to pay to use the spa. The spa access is part of your package. Um, now, if you want a, a private massage, of course, you'll pay for that. If you, you want to get uh, your nails done and get your hair done, yeah, you'll, you'll pay for that. That's, those are services. But the spa itself, with all the amenities of the spa included in your fare, Wi-Fi included in the fare, specialty dining, all-inclusive specialty dining. You don't have any extra charges to try this restaurant, this restaurant. Lots of choices. Beer and wine served at dinner and or lunch and dinner included in your fare. That's the standard room. If you take the premium balcony room, there is a bar, a mini, a, a mini fridge with a mini bar stocked with alcohol. It's all included, totally. And uh, if you're a passenger um, coming on shore, uh, off from the shore onto the ship, you bring a bottle of rum with you, no problem. You can bring a bottle of rum back on the cruise ship because they're giving it to you for free. It's already included. Buy yourself some your own booze. As a matter of fact, you're doing the cruise ship a favor. If you buy rum or alcohol like vodka or whatever, you bring it on board the ship and drink it, you're saving them money because now you're not drinking their booze. You're drinking your booze. Uh, they don't mind that a bit. This is just a complete turnaround from the uh, you know the inspections we have to go through to get on a, a Norwegian ship or a carnival ship that type of thing. Uh, pretty nice, uh, pretty nice arrangement. Very casual atmosphere, very calm. The fifth thing you will not find a whole lot of noise. Not a whole lot of noise on a Viking Ocean cruise. If you're looking for action-packed, thumping power music at the pool deck, forget about it. The disco, forget about it. There ain't no disco music on this ship. 
Um, matter of fact, in the evening, if you want to watch the movie on the pool deck, on the big screen that they have, what they'll give you is they'll give you a pair of Bose uh, headphones. You put those on, and you're listening to the sound of the movie on your headphones with the picture up there so as not to disturb everybody else. Those are all included. Pretty interesting stuff. So uh, an interesting atmosphere, a different uh, style, 18 and over, no children, no grandchildren, no water park, no, <laughs> no racing water slides, no uh, buckets of water coming down. It's calm and quiet. If you're 28 years old, a uh, young couple, and you're looking for action, or are you going to be disappointed if you go on a, on a uh, Viking cruise? You're not going to be happy because this is going to put you to sleep. Um, but if you're my age, 62, uh, who thinks he's 17 but kind of needs a rest every once in a while, this is the kind of cruise with my name on it. Uh, I can handle this pace uh, easily. And uh, you pay a little more, true, but you get it all, uh, which I think is a fair deal. Uh, you know, if you're paying 300 bucks a night and includes unlimited drinks uh, with a premium package and you've got the specialty dining built in, you got the spa built in, you, you just take that off the top, off the top. You're down into the 200s, in the low 200s, maybe the high 100s on another cruise line. Um, now you don't have the kids. You got the quiet. You got the room. Um, this might be your might be your ticket as opposed to uh, for some folks, you know, they go, well, I'm, I'm going to grab the uh, I'm going to grab a Norwegian. And I'm going to take the Haven. I'm going to go up the Haven Club because, uh, you know, the Haven penthouse area is quieter. Uh, it's more exclusive. Yes, it is. Um, uh, it may be adult only. I'm not exactly sure about that. I think it is. Uh, great, great plan. Um, but on this ship, the whole ship is the Haven class. <laughs> the whole ship. There are no inside rooms on a uh, Viking ocean. They're all balcony rooms. So... Nice stuff. Anyway, that's a quick recap of, of the luxury liner market. It is expanding dramatically. Um, having mentioned Silver Sea and Regent and Seaborn, Crystal and Porna, I uh, have to admit, they are also adding ships to their fleets. Like I said, Porna for sure. Crystal's adding. Seaborn is adding. Uh, Silver Sea is definitely adding. And these are these cruise lines are also refurbishing their cruise ships, keeping them at six-star standards um uh, some of these uh, lines are more expensive than uh, than uh viking um and uh, they are better in 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 certain ways they run smaller ships than viking does and so they can get into even more intimate ports than viking can so i'm a fan of viking having never sailed them <laughs> i would love to go on a viking cruise the time will come but uh, uh from what i see and what i'm learning of viking and what i've studied about viking they are hitting all the buttons for this age group of a guy. Um, Jen and I would, I think, be very comfortable on a Viking cruise ship. But I don't think I'd mind being on Seaborne or Silver Sea either. I think Regent and Crystal and Ponant might fit my style too. But I got to tell you, I love going on uh, Holland America. And uh, I've enjoyed myself on Princess. And uh, Norwegian is all right. Uh, you just have to, you know, you just have to buy into the program at the beginning don't be thinking you're going on a six-star all-exclusive cruise line if you're going on to a uh, Norwegian cruise ship with all the rides or with uh, Symphony of the Seas. It's a nice ship, but it's action-packed, lots going on, and lots to see and do. So each ship has its own unique features and style and personality and to each his own. And uh, I like to taste a little bit of everything anyway. So... Uh, I'm quite uh, quite fun with I've got to have quite fun with that. Uh, let's see what's going on here. Um, comments have been coming in here while I have been yapping away. Um, <laughs> all kinds of comments here. Uh, here we go. Um, here we go. And Jordan, uh, let's see. Let's see. Um, pardon me, folks. While I'm catching up on my. Uh, uh, catching up on my thing. MG Toe, what I've noticed uh, over several years of cruising is that very experienced cruisers get an inside cabin. Ian Spencer's here. Hey, Ian. Uh, what's up, Bruce? I haven't been a I, I've been a subscriber since you were under 500, by the way. Uh, it is 89 in Sarasota, Florida. I am also going to Puerto Rico in late, in, later in August. Welcome, Ian Spencer, uh, back to the channel. Welcome watching me live. Great to have you sign in and say hi to me. Great to have you here. Uh, one of my uh, early subs. That's fantastic. And Jordan, I've uh, seen them on the food shows. Looks amazing, Richard. See, 
uh, these, these are the deep dish pizza she's talking about. Still like the thin crust, though. MG Toe, uh, they say they know what the ocean looks like, and they can see it just walking around a ship. Yeah, again, uh, MG, uh, there are certain people who love the inside rooms for you know many reasons. Cost, uh, interior, uh, the, how dark they get when you shut that door, uh, and price. Of course, price, uh, whichever works. Janet Moyer, uh, going on our first cruise October uh, 13, 2019 on the Carnival Horizon. Oh, Janet, you picked a winner. You picked a winner of a ship there. This is going to be great. Uh, Janet, uh, uh, if you're going in October, I'm guessing you're talking about a Caribbean cruise. Um, fantastic. Uh, are you getting a uh, – what kind of a room did you get? Did you get a balcony room or did you get a, an ocean view or an inside or – are you in the Cabana Club? Do you know what kind of room you have? Let us know. Uh, we'll, we'll compare notes. And Jordan, Debbie, uh, how long to your bliss trip? Exciting. A couple of days, I think. Uh, Cheryl, uh, Cheryl Nemo, just returned from a week on the Celebrity Equinox. Loved it. June 9 to June 16. Uh, Cheryl, that's fantastic. Uh, great ship. I've heard always always heard good things about the Equinox. Uh, tell it. Where did you go? Where did, where did you go? Were you in Alaska or did you do uh, the Caribbean? Scott Weber, do you think there will be that much growth in the luxury market? Scott, um, I think so. I think the uh, the uh, millennials are, are the next gen that are coming up and uh, behind us, uh, the last of us boomers. <laughs> A lot of the uh, baby boomers, like in my age group, uh, you know, low, early 60s, uh, retiring now in the next few years, will want to go to the six star lines. We want to get a quieter experience away from the grandkids, perhaps from time to time and the children. Uh, and then the the uh, emerging, uh, the next generation emerging behind us, uh, that this is a growth area, definitely a growth area. And these lines uh, are uh, are running at pretty good capacity right now. Uh, Debbie Manuel, four days till the bliss. And I can't wait. Debbie's got four days to go. And Jordan, make sure you take lots of photos, Debbie. I will be with you on Facebook. <laughs> MG uh, I won't get on a ship with 5,000 people and 3,000 crew. A lot of people on a cruise, critics say they would never go on one of these mega ships again. Uh, to each his own. I agree, MG. Uh, whatever you know, whatever way you want to go on it. A uh, steaming bean. All this time, I was calling Jim Zimmerman. Is it's Zimmerlin? Yeah, the Zimmer Zimmerlin. I was calling Jim Zim. Uh, and uh, I love the quality of his work. It's just good stuff. Tammy Ray. Hi, everybody. Hi, Tammy. How are you? MG Toe. Jim Zimmerlin does not impress me. MG is not impressed. Oh, I, I like Jim. Wes Morrison. Viking offers. Uh, Viking offers uh, free. Um, uh, reduced airfare on some cruises. I'll be taking my third Viking cruise in November. Uh, Wes uh, is a veteran of uh, Viking and uh, anything we need to know about Viking. We got our guy here. Wes, thank you for reminding me on that. I, I do remember you've told me this and you love those cruises and I can see why because, uh, man, it just, just sounds right. Debbie Manuel and I plan on posting while away unless my drink package slows me down. <laughs> Right on, Debbie. Uh, let's see here. Uh, Steamer's wondering, why not MG Toe? Uh, why are you uh, not uh, with, uh, why, not, why don't you like Zim? Uh, Scott Batchley, hi, Bruce, and all. Another repeat day in Ventura. 71 degrees. It's sunny. Starting to pack only 86 days to wait for my next cruise. you got to start packing right now. Don't wait till the last minute. I agree. Absolutely fantastic. Scott Tammy. Rain. Oh, I see you're monetized. That's right, Tammy. It finally happened. 120 days it took to get re-monetized. Unbelievable. I'm making $6 a day. Yay! I can retire. <laughs> oh, my goodness. And Jordan, don't drink too much, Debbie. Oh, just drink enough. <laughs> cool, Jazz. Uh, let's see. Do they have a nude area on Vikings since it's adult only? Uh, just, think, just think the Biscuit Boys 2.0. <laughs> Out of control, Jazz. Out of control. Uh, I think the... Uh, the uh, the most of the passengers on the uh, the uh, bike will be horrified to see uh, their fellow passengers without clothing on. <laughs> uh, now, of course, if you got the sixty year old guy coming on board with his thirty year old trophy wife, you know, um, and then it's okay, I guess, you know, if she wants to take her clothes off. But uh, I think the guys uh, in my age group, I, I don't think I want to see the other guys walking around naked. <laughs> It's ugly enough with just swimming trunks. <laughs> oh my gosh. MG uh, saying Vikings World Tour went from 93 grand to 43 grand, 50 grand saving. Jump on it, folks. Uh, not surprising, MG Toe probably uh, did that for the remaining cabins that they have left. Uh, they usually start with the uh, top dollar. Primo cabins are all taken. And now they have, uh, you know, the lower levels and certain spots, one-offs here. There might only be 15 cabins left that they're going to fill out. Uh, but, hey, uh, 
you know, if you want a deal, you want a deal. Dylan, hello, everybody. We're nice and warm, 108 degrees in Henderson, Nevada. Dylan, welcome back, buddy. It's good to have you here. Uh, Steamy Bean, they used to have a clothing optional on the very top deck a few years back on the Epic. I, I was too shy. <laughs> and Jordan, oh, my God, cool jazz, 2.0 biscuit boys, laugh out loud on biking. The Steamy Bean, biking cruises will not have those crazy slides. No, they won't. <laughs> <laughs> I, I even hate to think about trying to go on one of those slides without a bathing suit on. Oh, get something caught in that. That wouldn't be fun. Not good at all. Oh, my goodness. Uh, Tom Henry just got home, and there is a red bubble package on my porch. Oh, I can't wait to open it. Fantastic, Tom. Send us photos on Facebook. Let us know what it looks like. MG Toe uh, is saying, uh, Bean, I've listened to him, and he does not know what he is talking about. That's why I caught him on a lot of mistakes. Oh, I don't know, MG. I, I I just think he gives us his personal opinion. Uh, that's just my thought. Well, whatever. Sea Keeper, uh, about uh, nude areas on the adult-only strip uh, ship. Uh, Grandma always said, don't be afraid to show what good Lord was not afraid to give you. <laughs> she was ahead of her time. <laughs> well, uh, Sea Keeper, uh, you know, um, can you dispute what Grandma says? I mean, you know, when, when, there, when you're of a certain age, I guess it's words of wisdom, I suppose, but I don't know. Uh, going nude on a cruise ship, I, I just, it just doesn't work for me. Uh, yeah, really. Uh, mm. <laughs> Especially if you want to, you know, if you want to, if you want to go down the banister, you know, want to ride the banister. I wouldn't recommend that either. That's another one I'd avoid. But at all the costs. Oh my god. Uh, steaming beat. Amen. Uh, Dylan Larue. My grandma used to wear this horribly wrinkled dress. It was, it was year before we found out she was a nudist. <laughs> As soon as you guys left the house, off comes the clothing, and she's naked again. MG Toe, Carnival Sunshine is having a clothing uh, clothing optional tour after the turn of the year. How about that? Oh, uh, Carnival Sunshine of the Twisted Mind. I don't know. Uh, and Jordan Laugh Out Loud Sea Keeper. Uh, Richard C. was surprised with the nudity on the, uh, Canary, on the Canary Islands when we stopped last year. Wow. Uh, well, you know, uh, Richard, uh, you know, if there's a rumor on the ship that says, hey, we're stopping at the Canary Islands, and apparently they're going to be nude there. I'm happy to volunteer to check it out, see if this is a true rumor or just a, you know, BS story. You know, count me in. Uh, where's my camera? Uh, <laughs> uh, no goodness. Uh, and Jordan, TMI, Richard, see you. Wow. And Jordan, welcome, Ian Spencer. Tom Henry, uh, Bruce, I mailed two letters to Canada at the same time. The other was a, was a check to a company in Quebec. Check cleared yesterday. Must be <laughs> take a while to get west. I guess Tom, uh, I have a feeling that the, the letter probably got quickly to Vancouver, and now it, they're trucking it from there to here. And uh, we have sub post offices, and we're in a small little town here. And uh, you know, I don't know. It's it's our posties here are not in a hurry. We have what was called Creston time. Yeah, that's a whole other experience. I'm not sure. Uh, Peter Heckman, MG, I am booking the sunshine. Maybe a group cruise with Bruce and Jen. Uh, whoa, boy, all the all the uh, biscuit boys uh, get on the sunshine. And, oh, man, let the sunshine bring extra. And I mean extra sunscreen because, holy moly, if we got four biscuit boys on there, there's a whole bunch of surface area that's going to be need to be covered that normally wouldn't need to be covered. I don't know if uh, Walmart sells containers big enough to last the cruise. I don't know. Janet Moyer, get in the interior. And it's uh, on a, a, a get in the interior, and it's on Sharon at Sh Sharon at get in the interior, and it's on Sharon at Sea Group Cruise. Uh, oh, oh, interesting. Okay. Uh, uh, thank you, Jen. Uh, Jen Moore. Interior, interior. She's talking about interior. So get an interior room and head for <laughs> head for that cruise. And and Jordan, welcome, uh, Cheryl Nemo, the steaming bean. I am leaving the North on Monday. Might as well pack today for home and, of course, the cruise for July 15th. There you go, buddy. Steamer, the key uh, of packing is to pack light. That's right. Cheryl Nemo, San Juan, San Martin saw the planes at Moho Beach, St. Thomas. Fantastic. Uh, that was going to be great. That was that would have been a great cruise, uh, uh, Cheryl. Fantastic. Uh, great cruise that you had there in the Caribbean. Steamy Bean, Bruce should go live in the buff and call his show Bruce's Brought First. <laughs> Got Jen laughing in the kitchen. Oh, man. Oh, no. Michelle Lucas, shake what your mama gave you, she said. Just shake it. Oh, you know, shake it. Don't break it. Just shake it. Oh, my God. 
Uh, uh, no, he didn't call it a schnitzel schnoogle. He called it, calls it Bruce Bratwurst. Bruce's Bratwurst. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, the schnitzel burger of all time. Unbelievable. I, I think it's out of control. Uh, yeah, I, I I thought my eyes were burning looking at my uh, my uh, Facebook group page uh, video there. The, the video was put on there the other day. This uh, this imagery on the sunshine, it could be too much. Just It just could be too much. Do they have multi-head showers uh, uh, on the in the rooms? I wonder. That would fit, you know, to fit the program, wouldn't it? Uh, my gosh. Um, other news <laughs> in the cruise game? Uh, Disney returns to Tortuga in September for the first time in a year. The Disney fantasy and uh, the magic will start returning in November uh, back to Tortuga since the hurricanes. Did those hurricanes cost money? Oh, oh, oh yeah, they cost money. All right. Other news. Uh, Carnival magic is back to regular speed. The Carnival magic leaving uh, Miami every week. Uh, was not able to cruise at full speed due to a technical issue of some kind. Apparently, that technical issue has been, quote, resolved, and the ship is back to normal. You never did hear what the problem was. No one ever did report it. No idea. Maybe we'll find out someday from uh, someone who's uh, in the know. But that's the latest from uh, from Carnival. That's a couple of news stories that I got today that I came across. Uh, <laughs> Seakeeper, apply that sunscreen with a paint roller to cover large areas. Uh, Stevie Bean schnitzels are too long. Uh, cool Jazz, any reason that they renamed Destiny to the Sunshine? Um, I don't know. Uh, there might have been a reason for it. Maybe it was a major uh, major uh, a reef bit, and they decided they wanted to, uh, you know, re the ship was reborn in Sunshine. I, I don't know. Uh, marketing? Maybe marketing. Can't tell you. Uh, Stevie Bean, I am single guy, and I have no desire using Disney. <laughs> Absolutely. I hear you. You don't want to be doing that, uh, Steamer. Uh, yeah, you got, you're got you surrounded by kids all year long as a teacher. Uh, you got to get away from these guys. Uh, you don't want to have and, and have the same crowd uh, on Disney. Uh, I don't think you want to do that. Although I think you'll know how to control them. Uh, you know, I think you'd be able to control them. Uh, <laughs> cool, Jazz. Uh, they picked up some watered-down gas, he's saying. Um, I'm not sure what he's referring to. Seakeeper, Blazing Saddles, Breakfast Scene, another... Schnitzengruben, mein Herr. <laughs> no, nine Schnitzengrubens is my limit, baby. Thank you, Shetzi. Um, Tom Henry, careful. The trolls may cut off the bratwurst to protect their friends on... <laughs> Ron Burgundy, I am going on Symphony of the Seas. Any tips? I have never been on a cruise. Ron Burgundy, uh, welcome to the show. Uh, you're going to have a blast. That is going to be fantastic. Um, never been on a cruise. My goodness, you've you got stuff to pick up on, but you've come to the right channel and uh, YouTube will be your friend. Um, you want to uh, you want to for sure uh, pack a carry on bag with enough provisions for your first full day, all your clothing, uh, your swimming trunks, flops and all your meds, your valuables, everything that's valuable, your your uh, drinks that you're bringing on board, bring them on your carry ons. And as soon as you get on the ship, uh, you head right to your cabin with your carry-on and uh, put your valuables in your vault in your cabin. And uh, you can already put your trunks on right now if you want and head for the pool deck and enjoy because you brought them with you. A lot of folks, they forget. They put their trunks in their suitcases and they wait hours and hours for their suitcases to arrive into their rooms. And uh, by the time they get their suitcases delivered, it's time for the muster drill. And as soon as the muster drill over, it's time to think about getting dinner. And they haven't. They didn't get a chance to get in the, the pool, and they were on board five hours and never got onto the pool. So bring your trunks with you and your carry on, along with your uh, valuables, your meds, all your electronics, everything on board. Only stuff in your your suitcases is your clothing for the rest of the cruise. Uh, stuff you don't need in the first day, because if your luggage doesn't arrive until late in the evening, you want to make sure you have what you need to get through that first day. That's my number one tip for you right there. Michelle Lucas, so we were on a beach tour one time. Driver asked if we knew what those tracks were in the sand. Look around. Most people were nude and over 70. Those were nipple tracks. <laughs> I don't pre-read these. I, I just read it as it goes. Oh, blazing saddles. Yes, the steamer is saying. Cool jazz miracle, uh, miracle bomb, Bruce. Um, I uh, still don't know what that is. Tom Henry, what uh, that is one huge ship run. Uh, don't get lost. Study the online deck plans. 
It's steaming beans. Swimming trunks? We don't need no swimming trunks. <laughs> Who needs swimming trunks? <laughs> oh, my, 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 my. Um, the uh, Symphony of the Seas, biggest cruise ship in the world. Um, advice, uh, check out vid videos, YouTube videos of people who've been on the ship already, and you will see all kinds of neat things about that ship, and you'll learn quickly. Steaming beans, swimming trunks, we don't need them. Peter Heckema, Ron, when is your sailing date on Symphony? We are booked on November 24th. Tom Henry, make sure you don't pack the boarding docks and passport. That's right. Bring them with you. Don't pack them in your suitcases. Uh, have them handy when you get to your pier and you're checking in for your cruise. Absolutely right. And, uh, you know, if you've got a uh, uh, you've got a uh, an ability to get to the to the pier at, at, at 10, 11, 11 o'clock in the morning, get there early and wait your turn to get on. Uh, no big deal. Uh, Steamy Bean, I am on the anthem for July 19. And Aluni, Aluni's here. How you doing, uh, uh, Aul Aul Aulan Aulani? Ulani, I think is how I pronounce it. I've always been iffy about the pools. People drinking all day and never leave the pool. Watch out for those warm spots. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Watch for that. Cool jazz. The miracle problem was watered down. Oh, gas. Oh, thank you, cool jazz. What was the problem on the ship? And the miracle was the one that was stuck in Tampa for those two days. Watered down gas. And they had to probably clean out the system. Unbelievable. But on Burgundy. Any snacking tips on a cruise? I will be on, uh, I'm on in March, I believe. Uh, well, uh, you should know when you're on the ship, you should have your dates settled up already. But uh, any snacking tips on a cruise, bring with you uh, your favorite snacks. Uh, you want to bring along uh, mini bags of chips or your chocolate bars or, or that type of thing. Because if you buy them on board, they'll be much more expensive. Um, and you can and usually you can bring a bottle of wine per adult with you on board a ship as well. And uh, uh, if you like energy drinks like Red Bull or, or just soda, you can probably bring some of that on board. Just read the rules and regs on the website for your uh, cruise line, uh, in this case, Royal Caribbean, or check with your travel agent, depending on how you booked it, and uh, they'll give you the rules and regs too. Peter Heckema, if the Symphony is anything like the Allure, it must be and will be an amazing ship. And I, I've seen nothing but good things on, a, on Symphony. It's right now in, um, in the Mediterranean. It will be coming to North America in the fall and we'll then be doing uh, Caribbean cruises. Yeah, I don't have my calendar with me and I forgot stuff. I forget stuff easily. I thought loud. Right on, Ron. Well, you'll have a great time on that ship. Uh, there'll be so much to explore, so much to see. Um, it, a week won't be long enough for you to see it all. It, it's just that big of a vessel with so many layers uh, to it. But you'll have a pretty good time, I'm sure. Uh, something tells me uh, after that cruise is over, you're going to want to book another one pretty quick uh, behind it and get right back on another ship and enjoy because it's uh, it's a great way to go. And Jordan, welcome. Ulani, um, I haven't seen her for a little while. Welcome back. It's fantastic that she's here. Yes, uh, uh, cruising is the way to go, I think, uh, rather than grabbing a, a land resort. I love a balcony myself. I love opening my balcony, uh, the opening the curtain in the morning and looking out over either the sea, if we're at a, at, at a sea day, or looking out over the port where we happen to be at. And uh, every day my view changes, sometimes multiple changes per day. And I love that about a cruise ship. Uh, you're never in the same place twice. And uh, a lot of interesting people, a lot of good times. Everyone's having a great time on these ships and uh, lots to do. Uh, depending on what you're, uh, what you know, what you want to be doing on these uh, on these action-packed cruises. So, Looney, hi, Ann. I'm usually here just lurking in the shadows. <laughs> and Jordan, cool, awesome. Uh, AJC uh, going on a cruise next Thursday and a half. Uh, what? Uh, going on a cruise next Thursday and a half. Any burgers that will turn my yum yum senses on? Really? Uh, what, what kind of question is that? Uh, what AGAC? Uh, Lisa Moore game night. Y'all ready? Richard, have a great day, everyone. Um, yeah, AJC TV. Uh, what? Uh, what are we doing there? How you doing? Um, Richard C, have a great day. Uh, and uh, Lisa Moore game night. Y'all ready? Uh, trivia tonight. We got trivia eight o'clock tonight. Get ready for trivia. We will be back on in not too long a time frame. Uh, two hours from now, I'll be back on running it. Uh, sorry, I just love burgers. <laughs> cool. Who doesn't? Uh, if you go on a carnival cruise, Guy's Burger Joint, fantastic. You get great reviews from that place. 
anyway, there you go. Guys, thank you for joining me today. Thank you for all your support on uh, on the affiliate link for Amazon. Thank you for your support for picking up this product here, traveling with Bruce merchandise, like mugs and travel mugs and stickers and tote bags and wall clocks. I love you guys for that. Thank you for uh, your donations to my, uh, to my uh, PayPal uh, uh, site. I love that too. Thank you today for thumbs ups. It looks like I got 31 thumbs ups today. Thank you for those. Really appreciate it. And watching my, uh, watching my show. Really enjoy it. Uh, really enjoy that you're here. Ron Burgundy, I think this may be my new favorite channel. Fantastic, Ron. See me bean. All right, folks, peace out. Um, I'm going to be on in two hours for uh, traveling uh, trivia tonight, live prime time trivia. Come and join me. And if you'd like to subscribe, there's a button there. There's a button there. Please join in. Uh, Reggie and her man. Hey, love father daughter cruise video. Uh, thank you, Reggie. I uh, posted that earlier today. If you don't know, I did post a video earlier today. The uh, crisis, uh, the disaster in Berlin, I called it. And there was a little uh, little chat about my uh, my travel with my daughter a few years ago. Loved your channel. Has gotten me through some tough times. Nice to hear that, AJC TV. I appreciate that very much. Guys, I'm going to call it a day. I'm going to call this show uh, over. I'm going to be on in a couple hours for trivia. And I thank you all for watching me today. All of you new folks who've come by, I appreciate that very much. Debbie Manuel, see you guys in a few hours. Toodles, have a good afternoon and an evening for everyone else. And uh, I'll be on again tomorrow at 5 o'clock uh, for my regular time show. And uh, look forward to seeing you all then as well. This is Bruce with Traveling with Bruce saying thanks for joining me today. June 26, 2018 for my 5 o'clock show. I will be on in a couple hours with trivia. Please come on by and say hi. And we'll talk to you guys later. Have a good one, guys. Take care for now. Bye-bye, everybody.